Damn, you girl looked tan in this light though. Who is she? Who is she? Oh my god, I look so tan. I look like a little Guida. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stormy Stormboard and if you're not new here, I am still Stormy and we are still in the fabulous Las Vegas. Vegas. And what do we do while we're in Vegas? You do some crazy shit. You do some really wacky, some really weird shit. We are going to be speaking with the other side or... Your mom? Is this spirit being a smart ass by saying that it was touching my mom? We're gonna be talking to some psychic medium people and we're gonna be doing some tarot reading. Is it tarot? Tarot? I, tarot? Yes, probably. I'm illiterate. First of all, hi. I got my braces off. If you can't fucking tell, uh, I got them off. Yay freaking me. Videos are not coming out in order right now because it's kind of like whenever they get done edited. So like some videos might have braces, some might not. I don't know when you're gonna see this. But I just got them off and I'm very excited for it. So yay, look at my little bright ass smile now. But before I forget, if you guys could go give me a follow on my socials, click that first link in my little social thingy. Um, That's how you support yours truly. Tell you how to do something voodoo. -y. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Context to this video. Why am I needing to see some tarot readers? So if you guys have watched my Instagram stories, which if you haven't, why are you not following me on Instagram? That is my most active platform. I post a fuck ton of stories a day. So if you want to keep up with my daily life, that is where you go follow me. Angel numbers. Angel numbers everywhere. Ah! All these fucking angel numbers, they've been popping up, popping up, popping up, like 111, 2-2-2, 3-2-3, 4-4-4-5-5-5-6-7-7-7. Like you got you guys get it. Here we go. Throw my fucking picture frames in this goddamn Airbnb I just got. Literally, 8-8-8-7-7-7. So before I had went to Vegas, I went to the bank to deposit some cash so I was moving out of my old apartment and it just happened to be 111. And the guy was like, oh my God, it's your lucky day. You should go to Vegas. And I was like, bitch, that's actually where I am going. That is why I'm depositing this cash. And he was like, oh, that's crazy. And I was like, yes, it was. After that moment, my life has broken. <laughs> my known reality of this conscious world has shattered. I have been through a fucking lot. And you guys will kind of know why and more about that in my next video. It's gonna be a tattoo video. There's gonna be something changing. But I have been doing a lot of living. And since I started posting about these on my story, all these fucking tarot readers have been popping up like boom, 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 boom. Like just tarot reader, tarot reader, tarot reader. And I'm like, okay, there's something to this shit. The, 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 the universe wants me to know something. And I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna fucking listen because I. I, I want to know what the other side has to say for me, for my life, for my journey, where am I going, what am I doing, yada, yada, yada. That's what we're doing today. We're meeting with two online tarot readers that I saw on TikTok. I said, okay, universe, let's play this shit your way. Give me the two, first two tarot readers you want me to go talk to, and I will book with them. And so I found this one. Um, I'll pop her up right here. And Well, Tiana will pop her up right there. And then I also found Ian. And... You know, I was okay with this one. He's a tattered baddie. So I'm like, thanks universe. Thanks for me on that one. We're also gonna go meet one in person. Me and Tiana are gonna go meet one in person. So I do actually sort of believe this shit a little bit. Like Tiana says, I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious. When we were 11 years old, we had our palms around this like radio party thing. And it was this like palm reader. And she basically told us our lives will be forever intertwined. We will always be involved in each other's lives. Like our, our little weave has been woven. We've been friends since we were two years old. We were 11 when we heard this. We're like, you know what? We'll probably like grow out of each other. We'll probably split ways. We've remained best friends our whole lives. And now we are working together. She is my editor. She is like my everything. Honestly, she takes the place of like my best friend, my sister, my mom, like my editors. Thanks. I'm glad you came along. Partner. Um, it's about time to get on our call though. So let's get going. I have an SP reading. Um, so like superpower reading, I think is what it is. So I'm gonna figure out what my like superhuman ability or something is. Yes. <laughs> that is not correct. No, wait, I think SP was a special person reading. Not superpower. Where did I get superpower from? How do you how do you address I don't know how you address them. Just think like spiritual advisor. Like you know you call a doctor like Dr. Bob. So they're like a soul doctor, right? Oh my god, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Hi. Hi. One second. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're recording. <laughs> Thank you for booking with me. So we start out with strength. Obviously, you've had to be very strong in this connection. You have had to exude strength. You didn't even know you had. The strength card delves into fire sign energy. And honestly, I was getting a lot of fire sign energy as well here. 
I'm um, in Aries, that's crazy. <laughs> and that's crazy. I, like I said, I was like, you obviously had to exude a lot of strength because the strength card here, she's a woman as well. And she's sitting next to a lion, which to me is alluding to the fact that you have protection over you. Someone is protecting you divinely. Somebody who possibly could have recently passed away. Um, but yeah, someone is guarding you like no one. And they are like, like, you know how cats or big cats will protect their pride and their people and things like that. So this person is protecting you, watching over you and making sure and giving you strength during these months. Sorry, I'm like losing it. My dad just passed away like a few weeks ago. Sorry, I'm like losing it right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. It gave me chills too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm getting chills. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. The energy was pretty big. So I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, and my sincerest, most sincerest condolences. I know what it's like to lose someone that you spent your life with. And knowing, and yeah, I know how colossal that can feel if you are not alone. I'm gonna cry to Gregory Saka. I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. I don't mean to like throw you off your flow. I'm so sorry, that just, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Cause I totally know what it's like to lose someone you spent your whole life with. You know, like that's, that's different. I did not expect that. And I'm so sorry you went through that too. I don't wish that type of pain on anybody, so. I'm so, so sorry you had, I'm sorry you had to hear something like that. But know that he is watching you like nobody's business, okay? <laughs> he about to, he's gonna like snatch somebody's gullet out and, <laughs> and protect you. He don't play about you, okay? And that you're gifted, fire sign. <laughs> you have beautiful energy to you. The Ace of Wands is only signifying that. The Wands energy is fire sign energy. I'm also a Sag. <laughs> so fire sign energy here. You are powerful. You're destined for amazing things. Yeah, and also super cool. And like, yeah, my, my emotions, I'm on a roller coaster right now. <laughs> a lot of people have told me, oh my gosh, would you pull it in the future? Came through the, I ended up doing it. I'm like, so these cards are the truth. <laughs> it speaks. <laughs> <laughs> so first and foremost, you may have a pet. Your pet's like, mama, give me more love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this this pet has the healing energy to them. So they're calling upon you because they know you need it at this time. Give me love and I'll reciprocate that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I have a little dog. She's like my whole world. I my cat's all behind me. Like, <laughs> So I hope that this resonated and I thank you for booking with me. Yeah, thank you so much for booking me and doing this video call. If you want to plug something for the YouTube channel, you know, go ahead right here. I just want to say I understand why you guys are all subscribed. Her makeup is stunning. <laughs> I could only wish my eyeliner could be that beautiful. Um, but yeah, like I'm charmed in essence on TikTok here to provide, you know, more love, help you guys see things in a different light. Peace, love, and light, y'all. And yeah, have y'all a blessed day. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is amazing. I don't know what I expected. Like I said, I was just clicking things and booking things. The part about being... The part about being protected by somebody who has... God, I get chills every time. Sorry, Tana. So as you guys heard, my dad passed. And I wasn't going to talk about this until the next video, and I'll get more in depth. You know, that's kind of why things have been kind of crazy. And I'll talk more about everything in my tattoo video. But when she said that... Mm, yeah. I love my dad so much. And I know you love me. That was definitely part of the reading that hit, um, obviously the most... Um, emotional shit for me and then oh my god what is my hair doing right now um, and then the part with um, like my dog she is my little healer she's my little baby she's been with me through so much shit and she just has so much love to give and I've been so busy and I know I've been moving her around everywhere and I feel so bad for like the chaos her life has been in because of the chaos my life has been in god suck it up suck it the fuck up oh my good god 
okay is the bad bitch back yet okay i don't i don't know why i did this i didn't expect it to be like this let's get on to the next one and hopefully i don't cry this time here. and we're here we're gonna get one to our reading i am literally so scared for this i am so emotionally drained after the last one it's not even funny guys look 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 i found the narcissist repellers and i kind of want to get this like big hunky one it's all gonna be fine no matter what everything's fine you are legally required to take me out and take care of me okay, okay. if we were yeah. seeing we'll, sure. we'll go to like this <laughs> that's not what i mean as my best friend you promised to take care of me to love me and cherish me you basically got married to me <laughs> okay i'm scared i'm nervous i don't do different spreads or anything I don't stick to just one deck. You can pick one and I'll pick two if you want. Sure. So you, you can have that side and I'll do this side. I think that one's pretty. Um, and then, uh, maybe that one's pretty too. And then maybe, I like the feather on that one. Okay. Oh wait, oh you were supposed to pick one. Wait. That's okay. I forgot. Hey, okay. I forgot. Okay. Obviously, it was meant for a reason. Super best, like I'm super new to all this stuff. So Got whatever you. you think is best. Got you. I don't have like any like set like things with it or anything like that so sounds good i'm just here to see what happens <laughs> they're so big too they're like mm -hmm. so awkward is it okay i don't know if that's good or if that was do you feel like that's good i think so great paradigm shift inhalation but that one's upside down starseed element realm bridger and shine your light okay Ooh. <laughs> Girlfriend, are you going through a huge shift in your life? Just everything that you've ever known just kind of got kicked out from underneath you. And so you're just trying to rebuild. Okay? You asked for it to happen, though. Oof. <laughs> you manifested that one to happen. Why are you doubting yourself now? We got harder? Well, yeah, but what in life worth keeping around and having came easy? Change is scary, but it's the only thing you can ever depend on to constantly happen and be consistent. Quit stopping yourself. Quit holding yourself back. You want to pull from that deck again, or you want to try another one that's not so mean? Maybe a kinder one. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Here's the kicker. That was the kinder one. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, that one was the oracle I'm going to keep my box right oh, here. Right? I feel that. Okay, so we're going to pull these ones back. These cards are playing with my emotions. And I will tell you, I think this is only the second time this deck has ever been used. Can I just ask, and if I'm wrong, do not be afraid to be like, no. Okay. I want to say it's like an aunt or a grandmother, but she didn't quite seem like a grandmother type of female energy. I don't know if it's necessarily a woman, but it was more of a feminine energy that you looked up to on that aspect that you were really close with that has passed. My dad recently passed, but he was very, very gentle, very peaceful, like very strong feminine energy. Okay. Look, you're a high priestess. Okay, I've got my high priestess sign. Okay, do you know what the high priestess card stands for? Finding the mystery in you. Figuring out who you are and what makes you shine. Pick one. Because it's going to be the one that just rocks you and you're going to need a second to just let it sit. Do these still get shuffled or do you yeah, just like to just shuffle them? And there, it's a front and back to the both of them. I'm not going to look at it so I don't like choose one and be like, this is seems easy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> that one was hard in a different way. So like you guys saw like the first tarot reading, it was, you know, a lot more all over. Like I didn't know what to expect kind of thing. This one was just like confirming what I knew about me, but I have not been dealing with. I, didn't I got my um, narcissist be gone. Little charm. <laughs> So, if you're a narcissistic fucking prickle asshole lying motherfucker, you can't come near me. When worst comes to worst, you could always stab them with it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. No I mean, narcissist allowed. 
gently, gently poke. poke. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm messaging with Luca right now, and oh my good god. Woo, we're already off. So, okay, this probably is gonna mean literally nothing to any of you guys because obviously you don't know my life, the things I've been through, things like that. He sent me an alien emoji. It's the alien head emoji, and that is very, very significant to me and to somebody that I love very much who is no longer here. Um, it's not my dad, it's somebody else. And alien, like, alien heads was his thing. I've never had anybody send me an alien head emoji. This is the first time I've ever seen that, anybody's seen anybody text like that. And he just sent it like to be like, hey, cool, talk soon, alien head. <laughs> that is not something I'm ready to deal with internally yet. So, yeah. What's up? Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, your hair is crazy awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so many colors in it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then the three of swords in reverse, and that's all about heartbreak. But you're healing really fast, actually. You're really good at navigating your emotions because the princess cards in this deck are all about it's like being a student. This is what's going to bring in this energy of like victory and the empress into your life. So this is all about just being nurturing. This is so nurturing yourself, nurturing your ideas, um, being a nurturing person in general. In the outcome, you have the sun, which is really good. So this is one like finding clarity and whatever it is that you might be like stuck on emotionally or internally or just unsure of but this is also the sun coming out after the storm um just the energy of the sun in general is one of the best cards in the deck also it's inner child healing so like deep rooted deeply rooted um cycles patterns or just issues things you might have like dealt with emotionally financially just anything in general you dealt with since a young age um in terms of your inner child i do see that like you're going to overcome these things just through this spiritual process and you starting to like sit in and listen to your like higher self and also the wheel of fortune is another like one that showed up earlier in the reading i meant to mention this is also one of the best cards in tarot as well this just represents coming out of negative cycles and things ultimately kind of like working for you like the universe like things moving in your favor karma kind of coming back through it would be more dharma in the sense, um, I feel like you have like good energy surrounding you and people are Is this resonating so far? Yeah, it is. Kind of creepy. I knew this was gonna pop out. I knew this was gonna and the wheel of fortune again is crazy. Yo, I was just talking about inner child here, like this is the card of the inner, of the inner child. Things of like if one side of the scalance is or one side of the scale or the balance is like going down. I don't know why I said scalance and <laughs> slipped out. <laughs> I like that word better, it's good. <laughs> New words, we're coming up with new words here. Anyway. I use routine so like, for a routine of peace, so we're good. <laughs> Thank you for all of this, like, especially us spending so much time with me. I know I took up way, way more than, way, way more no, than I should have, but. You, you did not take up any of my time. I chose to share my time. Super dope. Is it City City? Do you like vlog content? Yeah, yeah, like, like lifestyle cool. vlog content type stuff. <laughs> Sweet, that's dope. Yeah, y'all yeah, check out your, your channel. I just I haven't had a chance. I remember you said something the other day because you were saying if you could put some of this on there. I was like, yeah, that's cool. But they, yeah, um, super dope. Yeah, are you like make videos on like the readings you do, like or um, so, so like, how, how's that work? Um, I pretty much just said, okay, universe, like you're showing me these angel numbers. So I went on my TikTok. I'm like, first two tarot readers that pop up on my for you page. That's who I'm gonna book with, and it was you and another lady. <laughs> And so I was like, okay, so that's that. And then I booked one in person. Um, but yeah, I was just like this. I, I feel like right now is like a really like spiritual time in my life. Like something was shifting and changing. So I was like, let's just make a video out of it because why not? <laughs> that's dope. So how long ago was it when you like kind of said that to yourself? Like, to, like, what was this like last week? Because I literally kind of was, I feel like we manifested this happening. Are you serious? Yeah, this was, yeah. Yeah, yeah this was last week. Oh my God, yeah. I was like, I was, like sending me people that like, that are more in the, with like where I'm at in terms of understanding like content and we'll like let's see this. That's like, crazy. Collaborators, let's get it. <laughs> oh my god, I literally think we did manifest each other. What the hell? Because I literally, I was like, universe, take care of this. Like, I don't, I'm not going to just go find the most popular ones. I'm like, whatever pops up on the For You page is literally for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know why this came together, but it did. <laughs> it did, yeah. No, we both put it out in the universe. Well, not. So, okay, everybody. So that was our tarot reading. It was so much fun. Oh my God, we learned so much. But everybody, make sure you go follow him right now. We're gonna pop everything up on the screen right here. Tiana, you know what to do. And yeah, make sure you guys go follow him because this was so much freaking fun.
All right, guys, so that was the tarot readers. We ended off on a banger. Thank God I am not sobbing my eyes out because the emotional bucket was drained. We had no more left in us. I am so freaking happy with the way that one went. I don't know, the universe done did right on that one. But yeah, so that was today's video. So thank you for watching. Vegas vlogs are still coming. You know what's up. We got a lot of cool shit coming up. So keep on watching. We put out a new video every Friday. What else? <laughs> Whatever I'm forgetting is obviously not that important. All right, so make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, turn on your video on Friday, and everybody have a great day or do whatever the fuck you want. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Two weeks, the past month. That was really loud. How did I do that? Um, fuck. <laughs> God damn, I'm I'm nervous. Oh my God, I got my braces off. Wait, I should explain. Wait, I should explain that to the leaders. Okay.